the decision of the Eastern Nagaland People's Organization or the ENPO to boycott the 2023 assembly polls in the state over the demand for Frontier Nagaland has not gone down too well with the Naga People's Front or the NPF, which is the oldest regional party in the Northeast. Now, reacting to the decision of the ENPO, the NPF Secretary General Ashum Bimo Kekon said that the party would not like to dwell much on the demand of the ENPO. However, the stand of the party is that the Nagas have a common vision of having a homeland and a nation of their own and it does not subscribe to a piecemeal solution. Now, viewing the ENPO decision as a move only to mount pressure on the government for its demand of a separate statehood, while Frontier Nagaland Kikon added that the NPF does not want to dwell much on the stand taken by the ENPO. Well, this is the big story we're tracking from Nagaland. The decision of the Eastern Nagaland People's Organization or the ENPO to boycott the 2023 Assembly polls in the state over the demand for Frontier Nagaland has not gone down too well with the Naga People's Front or the NPF, which is the oldest regional party in the Northeast. Now, reacting to the decision of the ENPO, the NPF Gen Secretary General A. K. Khan said that the party would not like to dwell much on the demand of the ENPO. However, the stand of the party is that the Nagas have a common vision of having a homeland and a nation of their own and it does not subscribe to a piecemeal solution. Now, viewing the ENPO decision as a move only to mount pressure on the government for its demand of a separate statehood frontier Nagaland, Kikon added that the NPF does not want to dwell much on the stand taken by the ENPO. As far as the demand of the ENPO is concerned, definitely they will have their own uh, bond of contention. I have nothing much to comment on that. The Nagas have a common vision, having a homeland of our own, having a nation of our own, to find amicable, honorable, acceptable and inclusive solution. The, there are 20 seats in the ENB area, that's correct. Since we still have six months to go for the poll, if we are to face the election, it has to be sometime in February. So it will be too early to comment uh, if the 20 seats boycott, if 30 seats boycott, whether the election will be held, whether we will be prepared for us to go for election. In no way my party, the NPF, encourages in the piecemeal solution of you know, the, the Naga issue. It has to be based on the history that has the foundation that has been built by our forefathers. Well, it may be mentioned here that the ENPO holds a majority of total 20 seats out of the 60 assembly constituencies in the state. And if the 2023 elections are boycotted, then this will be a major stumbling block for all the political parties intending to participate in the elections. While well, Kikon was of the view that since there is still six months left for the 2023 assembly polls, the competent authority has sufficient time to address the issue. He, however, reiterated that the stand of the party, in no way, it encourages a piecemeal solution to the Naga issue. And to give us more details on this development, I'm joined by Sarah Konya. Good evening to you, Sarah. First of all, NPF, they're distancing themselves from the ENPO resolution. Now, to what extent will that have an impact on ENPO's resolution, if at all? Oh, well, I went, uh, if we were to talk about the resolution of the ENPO that was taken on last Friday uh, during a consultation meeting held with its all uh, frontal organization and the leaders of the ENPO, they have decided to abstend from uh, contesting, uh, from participating in the election process of the state or the central. And uh, to that, the reaction of the people has not gone too well uh, here in the state and uh, 
If I am to mention that the ENPO had already had four bilateral talks with the government of India and a tripartite meeting between the, the government of India, the government of Nagaland in the ENPO. And uh, and it had also given a representation on the 13th of uh, October 2021 uh, addressing to the Prime Minister and the Union Home Minister to accord for an early approval uh, for the proposed Frontier Nagaland creation of the Frontier Nagaland state. And uh, and the ENPO had also stated that it was pressing for its uh, demand uh, in the event of uh, the much-anticipated Naga political solution getting delayed uh, or if there was any unexpected uh, prolonged delay in the negotiations. So uh, as far as the EN, uh, as far as the NPF is concerned, uh, they have made this stand very clear that uh, that they will that the state they do not subscribe to a peaceful solution and uh, or peaceful solution based on factional or area. Uh, and it has stated stated that the party stand is clear that it, that the common vision of the people is uh, for the creation of a Naga homeland of a Naga nation. Aaron. Right. And Sarah, you know, in terms of numbers, if the ENPO does boycott, how will that alter the numbers in the Assembly? Well, uh, that will have a very adverse effect when, it, when we talk about the uh, 2023 Assembly election polls because the ENPO holds, uh, the Eastern Nagaland holds a majority of the cons uh, 20, 20 Assembly seats out of the 60, which is the majority. If you actually... Uh, uh, and, uh, if you actually distribute uh, all the constituencies uh, according to the districts, uh, according to the 16 districts, so definitely this is going to have a very adverse effect in the uh, election process of the 2023. And uh, 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 and as we have seen, uh, the BGB uh, General Secretary, uh, National General Secretary, had also already uh, visited the state. He was on a two-tour, extensive uh, tour in the state of Nagaland to, to, to take stock on the preparedness of the 20. Three polls. So if we actually look into it, everybody is preparing, everybody is looking forward for the election uh, to be announced. Uh, the political parties have already started their uh, work in the grassroots level itself. Right. So definitely it is going to have an uh, uh, impact uh, for the 2023 polls if the ENP is to raise demand and if the Eastern 20 Eastern legislatures and the intended candidates for the 2023 polls support uh, to the demand of the ENP. All right, well, Sarah Konyak, they're reporting for us from Kohima. Thank you so much for all your inputs.